All right, so today I'm going to be walking you through the process of a traditionally Leto primed uh, linen canvas. So first I'm going to start off with stretching it. Uh, I have a back brace in there, but I didn't end up attaching this uh, as I was doing this because I didn't have the right tools to do so. So basically when you're working on a, when you're working, when you're stretching a canvas, you want to, you're going to staple one end and then you're going to go to the exact opposite, staple it in that same area in the other end, and you're going to keep doing that all around the canvas. Uh, and as you as you go through, you want to test to make sure it's uh, not too tight, but you want to make sure it's kind of drum tight. You want to make sure it's uh, there's no uh, sagging, there's no uh, indents into the canvas. Um, you do this to make sure that it, because it is going to uh, it is going to let up over time. Like it's not going to hold up as strongly over time. Um, so you do want to make sure it's fairly tight. When you first uh, when you first stretch it, um, so for this process, I'm going to be doing a, a size as well as a ground. Uh, traditionally, the size for um, a lead oil primed canvas would be rabbit skin glue, but I'm not going to be using rabbit skin glue because it's hydroscopic, which means it absorb it absorbs moisture in the air, which causes the canvas to extract uh, expand and contract over time, which um, could be the cause for cracking down the road um, so yeah so I'm gonna start off with a product called GAC 400 this would be a fabric stiffener so uh, the whole the rabbit skin glue the whole purpose of it was to stiffen the fabric first of all and second was to prevent the oil and the oil paint from interacting with the fabric which would cause rotting and discoloration of the paint and all kinds of stuff um, so the first product I'm using would be a fabric stiffener called GAC 400 made by Golden. Uh, you want to do one layer of this, then you want to wait one to th one to three hours ish uh, until you uh, move on to the next product, which would be GAC 100. GAC 100 would be used for the purpose of preventing the oil from penetrating the fabric. GAC 400 doesn't do this. They're both uh, acrylic polymers, but GAC 400 works as a stiffener, whereas um, GAC 100 works as a sealer. You want to use two layers of the GAC uh, 100. That basically it ensures that it's going to be sealed. You want to make sure that they're. You don't want to glob it on there, but you do want to make sure that you cover. You do you want to make sure you cover the surface, um, and this is going to net you a airtight you know perfectly sealed canvas uh, this has been tested to be the best method for um, both cotton and linen uh, sizing uh, there's no strike through the oil doesn't get to the fabric uh, it's it's fairly tight you know it's almost uh, like you'd get a store-bought canvas except for its, its higher quality materials and it's uh, more archival so there you can see I'm going for the second layer same thing you want to use uh, both the front and the sides of the canvas. You can do the back as well, but I personally don't see a, a point in doing so, but it's it's your personal choice if you'd like to. Um, same process, just make sure it's all covered, make sure there's no gloopy spots that could potentially ruin your painting. Uh, you want to make sure it's a flat surface, all that good stuff. Uh, it is going to tighten significantly as you put these uh, as you put these three things on. Um, but it it gets a little bit uh, less stiff after it's all dried and then I typically wait uh, a couple of days to a week before I start the ground um, the ground would be I'm moving on right here that you got a turpentine which would be my thinner and then I'm using a, a lead oil ground by Williamsburg which is lead carbonate as the pigment as the white uh, the vehicle will be linseed oil and the uh, adhesive property would be marble dust so this is contrary to uh, a very common ground that most people use nowadays which would be acrylic gesso uh, which would be acrylic polymer with titanium white as the white uh, and chalk as the adhesive quality so every ground is going to contain a few different properties you need a medium which in this case would be either acrylic polymer or uh, some type of oil, most commonly linseed oil. 
you need a white like a white pigment um, nowadays most people use titanium white lead white is stronger it's not as white but it is stronger it's more archival it won't it's it's less prone to cracking uh, and then you need an adhesive quality to it which would be chalk or marble dust or ground eggshells it needs to be some type of uh, um, something that's going to be more adhesive um, so here we have the first layers done then you wait two weeks let it properly dry and cure and then you apply a second layer um, so this is a very time-consuming process but in the end you're getting a very you're getting a superior product uh, compared to a store-bought cotton acrylic primed canvas uh, this is gonna be more archival it's gonna look better it's gonna feel better um, and it's cheaper if you it's not cheaper than a cotton canvas but it is cheaper in general to make your own products and you know exactly what's going into them um, so there's always that aspect second uh, second layer is pretty much the same process uh, you want to make it I I work a little bit thicker on the second layer but in general you want it both to be thin layers you don't want it to be thick because you have to remember you are going to be applying paint over this and in oil painting the uh, fat or the fatter valine rule always applies when it comes to oils um, so this is the final product right here it's fully dry as you can see it's a little bit hard to see in this uh, little clip right here but uh, this is about a month after the second layer you only have to wait two weeks before it's ready to work on <clears throat> but I ended up waiting a, a month to before I ended up showing it off and started working on it so typically you the minimum you want to wait is two weeks after a layer is dry and you do two layers so you don't have to use turpentine as your as your thinner but it is one of the stronger thinners and it is tested throughout time to work very well it's just has a strong odor um, <clears throat> so it's up to you and generally when you're mixing you want to use more oil ground less thinner you want to have whatever ratio works best for you um, but more ground less thinner lose use as little thinner as possible but you do need to use some thinner uh, just so it's it thinly it goes on thinly and that uh, you can easily paint over it without uh, without underpainting without you know the ground fighting with the uh, the actual paint for the painting because the ground's too thick so hope you guys enjoyed and uh, thank you guys for watching